What we're going to talk about is antibiotic, is the cure for antibiotic resistance that causes up to maybe 50,000 people dying unnecessarily in America, possibly a lot more in all over the world. Um, what we're going to use is alternative medicine to fight antibiotic uh, resistance. And uh, the one of the best ones is olive leaf extract. You can buy this in any health food store. Locally, it's, it costs uh, $6 for 60 pills. Any health food store would have it. Uh, Wegman Supermarket, where I live, has it. Uh, Vitamin World at the, at the Oakdale Mall has it. The Binghamton, New York area. Uh, this book is, talks about olive leaf extract. It's written by Dr. Morton Walker. It's... Uh, an unbelievable substance. Uh, it, it used to cure malaria. It has in the book 137 diseases that it, that it helps. I'll see if I can read it to you, some of it. So this would be one of the first things you would take. We're going to talk about two, three things. Olive leaf extract, vitamin C, and... and uh, and garlic, and uh, these things should be used. Uh, you can use it one at a time, or if you want, if you, better to use it as a multi-prong attack on the infection. Use it all simultaneously. They, they, they all work differently, and they can probably get rid of your infection, uh, whatever disease you're 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 uh, uh, attempting to get rid of, uh, better. Because says they work synergistically. Okay, so this is a this is a, like 137 things. It works with AIDS. It's a protease inhibitor. He talks about in the book of uh, changing people with AIDS from HIV positive to HIV negative. Unbelievable. Uh, by the way, the book you can get at Amazon.com. Barnes and Noble libraries might have it. You have to go to an library loan. Uh, I got it from Amazon.com, and it it, it uh, helps with AIDS, anthrax, unbelievable, uh, chicken pox, cholera, colds. It's very good for colds and the flu and uh, diphtheria. So I got the book basically for for psoriasis, psoriasis. My daughter has psoriasis, so I decided to get the book since I discovered that uh, all of the extract might be very effective against psoriasis. So it's good for Ebola, hepatitis A, B, and C, uh, botulism, Lyme's disease, lockjaw, listeria, which is now affecting. Uh, Multiple deaths from cantaloupes. Can you see that? Listeria. It's right there, listeria. And uh, malaria, which is unbelievable. They used, used it as a tincture. It was very highly effective. Uh, meningitis, mumps, uh, pneumonia. Rheumatic fever, scarlet fever, smallpox. I hard to believe it would be effective against smallpox, but it might very well be. There, by the way, strep throat, syphilis, typhoid fever, yellow fever, etc. There's a lot. Of, there's, there's 137 listed here. Um, they're saying that olive leaf extract is safer than water. You can take as much as you want. Just take normally, just take one in the morning and one at night, according to this guy, uh, or I, between meals. So I like to take. If I was to take it, I would take it before I go to sleep, because uh, I'm usually I have an empty stomach then. Um, but he recommends taking it between meals on an empty stomach. And on the internet, the guy claims to take it. Prefers. Recommends taking it on uh, with meals. Do it either way, any way you want. Uh, so this is olive leaf extract, very available, extremely, uh, extremely.
extremely uh, potent antibiotic, antiviral, antifungal. This is the same thing with vitamin C. This is a book written by Dr. Thomas Levy. Again, available at Amazon.com or Thomas Levy MD uh, website. Look it up. It'll be on the internet. You can get it from his book uh, bookseller. It'll be also at Barnes and Noble, I imagine. Also, it might be available at a, at your library, interlibrary loans. Curing the incurable vitamin C infectious disease and toxins. You can take uh, vitamin C is known also as just like uh, olive leaf extract, it has no side effects, um, except for the uh, the uh, bowel tolerance thing. If you take a, a, too much, you might have a bowel movement, so just be near a bathroom in the beginning. You, at, at Walmart, they sell uh, 250 uh, pills, uh, 500 milligram pills, bottles. You, they recommend that you take up to 100 if, uh grams of, vit of vitamin C a day, that'll be a lot, a lot to take. Take it in divided doses, okay? Take it like uh, 10 every hour. We're talking about extremely serious diseases. It, this is a cure for polio, mumps, viral encephalitis, chicken pox, herpes, influenza, rabies. Well, there's a question mark after rabies because there's not enough data on that. AIDS is not a, is another question mark with this because there's not enough data on this. Uh, tetanus, tuberculosis, many many diseases. Um, if you can get to a hospital, you can get an IV uh, vitamin C IV drip. If the doctor will let you, most doctors will not do that. You'll have to get a chelation doctor or a biooxidative doctor. I'll, it, 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 it will be in the notes. Okay, so that's vitamin C, highly recommended. And now garlic, garlic antibiotics. So this is what I did. I looked it up, and there's over a million nine hundred sixty thousand uh, hits on garlic as an antibiotic. We'll, we'll scroll down here. Garlic is a natural antibiotic. We're going to look it up. There will be a picture of the garlic bulb. She used it for UTI. And she, it worked for her. Let's go back for a little ways. I had heard that garlic was nature's antibiotic. But like anyone else, I was skeptical at first. Until I got urinary... urinary urinary tract infection and couldn't afford another doctor bill. She tried that and it worked very well for, for her. Now that's, that's a picture of garlic. And this is the cloves. What you have to do is you have to cut up the cloves, okay? I used to cut it into medallions. There's the cloves right there. This is the garlic bulb, and you have to get the cloves. You take off the, the sheet out of it. That it is covered with a, a parchment, and take it off, and cut it into dice it up, and then take it, put it in some salad dressing, some mayonnaise, some jam, jelly, preserves, anything, and down it. It has to be fresh. The, al the active ingredient in this is allicin, and that's what's going to help f kill the infection. Uh, there's also some co something called Kylac. It'll be in, in the notes. Um, it's uh, aged garlic extract. It, it, it uh, stimulates the B lymphocytes. By the way, the vitamin C stimulates the macrophages, which is the king of the immune system. Macrophages is what causes people to have fever. When the, when the macrophages cannot defeat the enemy, the pathogens, it sends a signal to the brain, turn up the thermostat. That was your last ditch effort to um, destroy the pathogen. Also, um, the vitamin C becomes a type of bleach in the, in, the, in the macrophage, the white blood cell. I hope that helps you with the antibiotic resistance. Thank you very much.